and today I'm coming at you all with a vlog of Missy vlog. It is currently November 30th, but nobody needs to know that because by the time I get this edited and uploaded, it'll be December and it'll be time for a vlog and I want to get these out for you. So I am currently out at Bray's and um, I have a lesson on the pony down at the end. That's Miss Beebs. She is the cutest little thing ever. And um, I feel like I haven't videoed her in forever, but you guys are probably like, that was like your last video was about her. Yeah, I kind of just wanted to touch base with you guys a little bit since it is a Vlogmas Eve vlog. So I noticed on my last video, which was my haul video, that a lot of people were like, wow, it must be really nice to have sponsorships and blah, blah, blah. And like, I don't know, I just, I thought that was a little disappointing. Not necessarily to like be reprimanding anybody or anything, like that's, that's your perspective and that's fine and I can respect that. The thing is like, I am so beyond grateful for the opportunities that you guys' support gives me daily. The opportunity that I'm allowed to have because of you guys' support and this amazing following that we've built together on this platform. And I'm able to promote brands and pieces of equipment and supplements that I believe in with my whole heart. And I don't want to preach to you guys because that's super obnoxious. But like, I just want to let you all know that like, these are brands that I reach out to um, because I like their stuff and I want to use their stuff and I want to help the brands out and they can help me out in the same way because like <laughs> if we're all honest like most of us are struggling <laughs> equestrians like I'm a college student and I have to pay for a lot of stuff and you know I have a job and everything and YouTube is one of my jobs and it's just money's tight and in order to make things happen sometimes I gotta do what I gotta do and I get to reach out to incredible people and work with them and get um, discounted items or free items that I get to use and then I get to tell you about them and I love review videos before I buy anything I watch a review video because like I need to know what it looks like and how it moves and everything yeah long story short I just I think that like I know that it can be annoying sometimes with ads and everything but just know that I would never promote a product that I don't genuinely believe in and if I use it and I love it and then I end up hating it later I am the first one to be like yo my bad <laughs> and um yeah I just just like kind of have a little compassion <laughs> that like not everyone like can just buy everything or like we're all doing the best we can to make our horses as happy and as comfortable as possible and that's that's all I want for anybody that's all I want for myself and Zazu who is hiding outside <laughs> um but yeah sorry about the long rant I just wanted to clear that up because I I feel like people People are just like you're bragging and that's not the case I just I I just want to share things that I love and um, in some cases I have to I just be be a little understanding if you don't want to watch it don't watch it and if it annoys you don't read it <laughs> like that's I mean uh, I just I hate feeling like a little at odds with people or you guys or um, just I, I like for everyone to be happy and I want everyone to be successful and it's not something that's unique to me anybody can do this and it's it's a lot of fun it's a lot of work but it's a lot of fun but anyway I'm gonna grab beeps and we're gonna get on to the meat of this uh, I think I'm having I actually don't know what kind of lesson I'm having but I'm gonna try and film it and it's gonna be exciting and fun and we're gonna move past all the serious stuff and we're gonna have a great time okay sound good cook so <laughs> And yes, I know she's a little ribby right now. A little ribby. We're working on it. We've upped her feed like twice because <laughs> she's a little bean. But I mean, part of it is just that she's a growing three-year-old. Her body's doing lots of things right now, so she's not really allocating them to getting fat. <laughs> do I jack it? Do I not jack it? You're so cute. She's so, so little baby. I know I'm supposed to pull them off, but somebody was like, do you have to do like clockwise or, and then I have to like squish them afterwards and it's so gross. There's <laughs> a person who can save me. Hey, how do you feel about ticks? Yes. Hello, Jill. Hello. How do you feel about ticks? Ticks? Uh-huh. I was filming and I've been yelling at my camera, but. Um, can I get some off? Yes. <laughs> okay, anyway, now that my own personal nightmare is over, um, 
I cannot thank them enough for pulling this off. I don't know what it is. I just can't. I just can't. I squished it and I almost threw up. <laughs> and I'm wearing a very dirty Aztec diamond saddle pad. Fell on the floor a few times, but it's okay because it came like that. <laughs> okay. And everybody, um, we are riding in my coach's Richmond saddle. If you would like to take a look at this, do you see a knee roll? And can you feel the slick? Because it's slick. It fits like every horse ever, but also, holy no knee roll. And it makes me ride so much harder and better. It's, it's more diffy still. <laughs> I've been having to use my coaches until I get a new one, which I have an exciting announcement about that, but I can't talk about it now, but soon. <laughs> you guys can probably already guess what that means, but you don't know with who. Between you and me, I might be doing a social media promotion with a saddle company, and that would be super, because after I sold my saddle, I realized I didn't have enough money to get a nice saddle for Zoe, so working some social media influencer magic. Hopefully that works. <laughs> Because my family is like, girl, you're 19, figure it out. And I'm like, right. Again, for everyone who is new here, the bun, the famous gill bun. Take it and wrap your hair right around into a big log. Once you have your log, make that log a dog poop. Get it? See? You just dog poop it. And then tuck it all under. And move it to the base of your head. And then break your ponytail holder. I have more in my car. Never fear. BRB. Return from my expedition with a ponytail holder. So you're just gonna band it once, twice, and then the third time you go halfway. Otherwise it'll just unravel outward and it's not fun. I'm gonna slick all the excess back. Because if we're all familiar with my other videos, I also cut my own hair, so uh <laughs> can guess how well that goes. I really don't like not tucking my shirt in. What do you think? Should I tuck it in? I also have on my back brace. I think it would look better if I tucked it in, even though they don't have belt loops. 78, I have back problems. I can, can attest to that. Ready to go, okay? Ready to up, put this on. That. How to bridle a horse by Jill. God, I love country music. Just really makes me feel nationalist, you know? USA. If you have any opinions against it, I am happy to respect them. However, I would ask you to refrain from leaving them on my video. I know everyone has their different opinions, and that's fine, but um, this is what we're doing. And your comment isn't going to change that because uh, I believe a vet, chiropractor, trainer over an internet comment. <laughs>
sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled programming here, but uh, I just did a dressage clinic and the uh, instructor was like, hey, gel pads actually uh, provide a lot of inconsistency under the saddle. Imagine like standing on that and how wobbly it would be versus fleece pad where there's stability. She was like, the fallacy with gel pads is that it'll conform to the horse, but actually it just provides too much movement. So, so my bad. I didn't know. Now I know. Now you know. Now we can progress better from here. Okay, let's resume. <laughs> What's next? <gasps> Yay! Yes! And I bought her hot boots, so I'm gonna put them on her. Okay, so now, next step is to clean my saddle for the clinic tomorrow. Ugh, I have so much to do to pack for that. I'm leaving straight after school to go out to Pinnacle, which is another local farm. I'm excited. All right, let's do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done for now, and um, then I'm gonna call it a day. And there is no sense in you guys I missed a piece. There's no sense in you guys watching me clean my saddle over and over again because who cares? Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Not sure what it does, not sure if it helps at all, but you could do it. Remember to watch your advertisements all the way through so that your YouTube subscriptions get as many monies as you want them to have. <laughs> totally kidding, unless you just want to be a bro. But I'm kidding. But you, but I, you know, I'm, but <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Anyway, just make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell if you want notifications. This has been the longest outro ever and literally nobody cares or watches this part. So shout out to you if you watch this part. Comment carrot in the description or something. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Goodbye.